Hi, I'm senior Cindy Connors, and today we'll be cooking Thai chicken wraps. I feel like I'm on Food Network. Not only is this recipe really good for you, but it's also healthy and really easy to cook during this quarantine and only requires a few ingredients. Here's everything you're gonna need for this recipe and feel free to screenshot this. But for now we can put the bib lettuce, the bean sprouts, and the carrots in the fridge because we don't need those until we eat our meal. First, we're gonna make our chicken marinade and to do that, I am using this measuring bowl with a Ziploc in it just to make it easier for when I have to clean up then I can just throw away the bag when I'm done. Pour in half a cup of your sweet chili sauce and try not to pour it on the bowl like I did because that defeats the whole purpose of the bag. Just cleaning up the mess I made. Pour in two tablespoons of your soy sauce. And then it asks for minced garlic but I was feeling lazy so we're just gonna go with the seasoning. Good enough. And then we're gonna use this cheese grater looking thing to make our freshly grated ginger. And if you thought bars was hard, this will be a lot more work on your arms. Throw in your tablespoon of freshly grated ginger. Pro tip, if you roll out your lime or lemon like this, it gets out all the juice, so when you squeeze it, it gets out everything efficiently. Then cut up your cilantro and then put in two tablespoons into your bowl. Well, I just wasted all this, whatever. Put in your chicken. Oh, it touched my finger, okay. Then you're gonna shake it up as best you can to get everything mixed together well. When you're done, just put it in the fridge for a couple hours until you feel like cooking again. After at least an hour, get your chicken out. You need a large saucepan and two tablespoons of unsalted butter for the chicken. You only need one tablespoon of butter. One tablespoon of butter. <laughs> Once brought to medium heat, put in all your chicken strips into the pan. It's strawberry season in Georgia, so we're cutting up some strawberries for the side. You can cut up whatever fruits you want, or don't. After about six to eight minutes, flip your chickens and they should look like this. Then put the rest of your marinade in so they can soak them in all the sauces. Go ahead and plate all your toppings. Then the chicken should look like this when it's ready. I forgot to record it, but I also cooked some rice. I also crushed up some peanuts and used the extra marinade from the pan for a sauce. And then you can assemble the wrap however you want. Mm, that is good, Sydney. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope this recipe helps you with your quarantine. Can you guys look more enthusiastic? <laughs> Yum.